Now, this got me, you know, thinking the part of, well, first of all, so do you believe in heaven and hell? Do you believe there's a heaven? Do you believe there is hell? Yes, I do, but not in the way that uh, I see heaven and hell, the way it's been used as being proverbial. But are they physical places? Are they mental places? Are they just states within a different realm? That's a mm -hmm. different question. Yes, I do believe that, uh, that uh, there is enjoyment for people who have walked the walk and paid the price. That I call heaven. And I believe that for people who have not done so well, they would have the chance, not, not okay, not like go there and stay forever and then you'll be in hell forever. No, 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 not that kind of hell. Not that kind okay, of hell. I don't believe that one. Okay. I don't believe that there is hell that because you lived just 70 years out of your eternity and you made all the possible mistakes one could possible, possibly make in a lifetime, then one creator or somebody will just put you to, to forever and ever go and suffer, go and gnash your teeth, go and... No, 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 no. I do not believe that. Hmm. That does not fit into my teachings and what I have been taught. What, have, what fits into my teaching is that when you do make mistakes, you'll be given, you'll be forgiven. Forgiving does not mean that you'll not be punished. It's just that you'll be given another chance. Oh, you not it. Do it again. You'll be given another chance to do it again and again and again until you pass that particular segment of the host and then you move from that knowledge to this one. You move from that knowledge to this one until ultimately you become perfect like the other man, the other entity at the other end that we call God, that we call light, that we call good. And that was where we said that everyone that is there now with him that has become pure, not because they were made to be pure, but because they started by being evil and then developed themselves through life and fall down, you rise up life and life and life and life again. Because you cannot attain this in just 50 years or 70 years. Anyway, they develop themselves over time from being evil to being good. So there's always that chance. It's not whatever affects one man, whatever applies to one man. In fact, in the eye of the universe, it is man. Whether we are now three, uh, several billion men in one, it's, it's, it's man. That's why you just call it man. So that simply means that whatever affects one affects the other. It's just like a body, but each, each man, each person is now just one cell in the body. So mm -hmm. we are treated together as one full body, not as individual. This is this. Yes, we may be different and unique in the way that the cell on your finger may not necessarily be the same structure and the same performance as the cell in the heart. So to that extent, we occupy varying and different areas on that body. But essentially, what affects one man affects the other as long as you have come into this world. It's a level ground. Okay, so I do not believe that there is a hair like that. And I also do not believe that uh, until you have attained perfection, you'll be locked out of the possibility of coming over and over and over until you gain that perfection. So, From what you, okay. Yes, please go. All right. From what you said, from what you just said now, you, you're giving us the impression that there is life for even those who, you know, who are in hell in your own belief. There's hope for them. That's what you're saying, right? Yes. Okay. If, if the, my explanation of hell, like many stories, do, if that is the hell you asked me earlier on, do I believe? No, I do not believe that there is that hell. Okay, because the reason so, I actually asked that, pardon me, sir. Okay, the reason I actually asked that was I just needed to know, you know, for those who haven't lived that, you know, very good life 
and they go to hell. So that means they they wouldn't get to enjoy, they will get to suffer all their lives. Because if the, if the man who has lived a good life here, you know, gets to keep enjoying the benefits, that means the one who hasn't lived a good life will keep suffering, you know, the outcome of, you know, of his um, decisions or, or of his acts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where the, the concept of heaven and hell come. But nothing is permanent. Hmm. Nothing is permanent until you get to perfection. And when you get to perfection, we can't even talk about perfection. Let us even stay here and focus on what we are doing here. Let us pretend that we know everything and talk about when you get to perfection, what happens. When we get there, we know what happens. So suffering is not permanent. Even enjoyment is not permanent. So sure. it's not permanent. Nothing is permanent. Yeah, from our teaching, you'd have seen that enjoyment is just a way of, oh, like patting you on the back. Oh, you're, you've done such a nice job. Come, rest, let's feast. Hey, who has champagne? Drink champagne. This is my beloved daughter. He's mm -hmm. done. No, that's just enjoyment. And then after all the merriment and champagne and you've eaten everything that, you know, you've enjoyed, however way you define your enjoyment. For some people, what is champagne? Champagne enjoyment. Whatever way you, you want your enjoyment to be. After you have done all of that, at some point you are, you are going to they are going to tap you on the back again. Say, oh yeah, thank you. That's been that was fun. It's time for work again. And what is work when you do not what is work? You go to gym and you say you are working out and you come back, you are you are still normal smiling, you are not sweating, you are not panting, you are not saying, <laughs> man, I can't go back to that gym tomorrow. That's not work. Work must, you know, and that is what we call suffering. So, what is work when everything is so rosy? What is work when the whole world is clapping for you? And uh, that is enjoyment. So, after all of the enjoyment, there is work. And if you come into enjoyment, then the two minutes of enjoyment, the two minutes, the one hour of glory that the world celebrated you, it probably took you like 200 hours of hard work. To earn that two minutes of glory that will launch you into an era of enjoyment for the next. So, I mean, we'll be dealing with cases. We've seen how I personally enjoyed consistently for over 10 years. I mean, consistently. Everything I taught was good until I got used to enjoyment and got used to. And then it came to a point where I tried the same thing that I used to try. First time, it didn't work. Second time, it didn't work. Third time, at the third time, I knew mm -mm, there's something wrong. I knew I had a problem, so I had to relax and go on. So there's always time like that for everyone. There's time if if one is enjoying and has not come to that time, then let he who is standing be careful, because unless the foundation is strong, the fall is going to come. Even when the foundation is come, let's even take a closer look. Remember that we are moving from evil to good. Let's say we're at this point in that journey. I wish I could put this on the graph. We're at this point. Mm -hmm. When we get to this point, we did not come to this world to enjoy. We came to this work, world to work. When we get to this point, it will be wicked of nature to leave us at this point and not help us develop to this point. The gap between this point and this point of development, this gap is work. So even at this point, when you arrive and you say everything is fine, you are enjoying, at some point, this seal will be taken. And then you would have to walk. What I call it walking, or you call it walking. At least there has to be transition from this point to this point. That will mm -hmm. happen as a result of your conscious works. So works is not like we, the example of the gym that we gave. Work is not easy. Work is the thing that we call suffering. You work. You say this principle work, this principle work, but you'll be given. Although you will not count it. If you count it, then you are not obeying the other principle of faith. But you may go, ah, but it's work. It will work. It will work. Five years I've been doing it. I've not seen any difference. It's discouraging. But that is work. That is work. You are putting in work. Work is not always about roll your wheelbarrow and do uh, <laughs> your, you know, 